personal for Ashley. She co-wrote all the songs. She shares her struggles with anxiety and depression. And you have over 20 million social followers as well, so your influence is far-reaching. Why did you want to tackle this, you know, in your album? Coming, um, coming so open about your depression anxiety. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't yeah. something that I was like, I'm gonna tackle this. It just actually naturally, organically happened. Yeah. I've been in and out of the studio for four years, and um, I knew to, in order for me to get back into music, it had to be important. And so it's just like the first song I co-wrote was a song called Symptoms, based off of all the symptoms I was having. And so from there, I was like, oh, I think I know what this album is. And yeah. Um, you know, it's just really personal for me, and the reason why I wanted to do it was because I wanted to make someone at home feel less alone in their journey. And I think it's the first time people are really going to get to know me for who I am versus a character I've played in a movie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a very private person, so I keep things really personal, but um, it's hard to be vulnerable. It's like scary, it but I'm, I'm, you know, I think that it's important to share you know, what I've been through and say that, you know, I'm human and I go through those things too. Was yeah. there one defining moment where you felt like it was okay to talk about or that you realized that you were suffering from these things? You know, um, it wasn't a really defining moment. I guess it would just be that I was doing a self-help book and one of them is letting go of fear of failure and so that is actually what got me back into the studio. And um, I think just based off of whenever I'm with my friends, you know, it's really easy to be like, who suffers from anxiety? And everybody will raise their hand. Yeah. But if you say like, who suffer, suffers from depression? Like no one raises their hand because there's just a stigma around the word. And I just feel like we gotta let go of that. Um, I think anxiety can be just as bad. It's like just as horrible and painful. Debilitating. It's debilitating. I'll be in a production meeting and I will be having a panic attack inside and just frozen. And it's just like, it's, I think it's just as bad. So I just feel like, you know, with this album, it's all upbeat. There's yeah. nothing that you're dwelling in. It's more about taking those symptoms of depression, anxiety, and um, being like, you know what? This is what we have, and like, it's all good. You know, well, we can and, get through it. And music is so cathartic, and I think probably in writing and, yeah. and producing the album as well. But you're also helping so many people. There were lots of people on Twitter expressing, you know, thanks to you. And I told my English professor about voices in my head. She decided to play to my classroom with texts about insecurity. Your song is so important. I'm so proud of you. It must do a lot for you to, to get that kind of feedback and to know that you're helping. It does. It's like makes me emotional, actually. Um, it does. It just like. It's overwhelming to see the response from everybody. Aww. Did you were you surprised by this uh, response? Because clearly you're getting emotional. Because I think that a lot of celebrities are coming forward now, being very brave about this. But your music clearly touching and playing yeah, in classrooms. Yeah, I mean, because it's yeah. just like these are the lyrics I wrote. So it's like I'm. It's so attached to me, and so it's like it's different from anything I've ever done in music before. So to, to see other people, it's resonating with people and to feel like I'm helping them. It's just like, that's all I can do as an artist. And that's all I can do in my life is to inspire people and to make them feel less alone, you know? What turned it around for you? How did you overcome? I mean, I know every day depression, anxiety is, is a constant battle. But yeah. Um, what do you, you know, recommend? I, it was really the self-help book, actually. That was the best one for me. I'm a real naturalist, and so I've never like taken anything for any of this stuff. But um, but it was this book called Attacking Anxiety and Depression by Lucinda Bassett that a makeup artist told me about. And um, it really just helps you acknowledge those feelings mm. and be OK with it. And then that way, it just like doesn't spiral into like something like a panic attack. Um, and so just really acknowledging it. Um, I also play like Candy Crush sometimes <laughs> to like <laughs> distract myself when I'm in a moment. But um, but it's really communicating, I think, all of those feelings and knowing that like there's other people in the world that are going through the same thing that I'm going through makes you feel like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Like it's okay. And I feel you know, sometimes this world can be really dark and the whole point of this album is that like you need to be your own light and you need to like get yourself through it. And so it that. really is a journey. My album starts from Symptoms, a song that I wrote, to the ending of the of, of the song called Feeling So Good and it takes you through this a complete journey of what I went through and I think that um, it's still relatable and really fun. Well, I love it, especially for young people out there that have loved you for so long that you're open about this, helping so many.